So egg dystocia is very, very common. Our pet birds live in abnormal environments, form abnormal pair bonds with humans. They form sexual relationships rather than happy flock bonding, which is what we would like. They form nests or perceive nests in various places in the house. They uh, get incredibly high calorie food. This bird weighs 192, which is really heavy for a rainbow lorikeet. And uh, often the diet doesn't have enough calcium. In winter, when it's cold, it also seems to predispose these guys to hyptostochias. It's not necessarily easy to see, but very, very swollen. You can see a very swollen tummy. And uh, the bird's battling to pass poo, feeling a bit weak. And the egg's been in there for two days. So what we're planning to do is we're going to anesthetize, we're going to give calcium, we're going to give you some fluids, we're going to give this bird a break, we're going to give a hormone or a menopausal inducing drug called deslorelin, which will go to the brain and switch off all the sex hormones, so, so our, little, our little, little, little lady won't have to um, worry about sex hormones or laying. We hope that the egg can come out through this tiny little vent, which we're going to go in surgically. And uh, it's a life-threatening condition. About two, we only have a 98% success rate, so 2% of these birds don't do well. So just be aware of just the general behavior you have with your birds. That's why parrot socialization is so important. Understanding the needs of your parrot is really important. And seeing an avian vet is probably the critical thing to do at least once or twice in the beginning for a health check when your bird is well just like you would do with a dog or a cat so this is a time a sensitive thing too or? yeah so once you see an egg is stuck once you feel once you see the swelling and the owner's an incredible owner she said this bird's was hormonal ass so we know that um that's most likely an egg problem we could take an x-ray in this particular case the owner's declined taking x-rays you'd see a big beautiful calcified egg but because I can feel the egg, we should be okay with that. So? Surgery. Let's mm -hmm. start surgery. I need a calcium. Okay, so we've given fluid. Can you drop calcium for me, please? Can you drop Yes, I'm watching you. Are you? Yep. How much do you want? I'm 0.03. I need yeah. some lube, please. Oh, that's hard to read. Oh, Sharice sure hit the nail on the head. I need, a, I need some <laughs> cotton base, please. So what's that feel? As soon as it comes out, we're contacting. So that's a calcium organized. injection. And it's all, the others are organized. Now we're going to give, give a Des Laurel an implant. There's the egg. A nice, beautiful, healthy eggs come out. It's quite large for a lorikeet. It's very large, but let go away. We're going to turn it over. Mm -hmm. so it's, just, it's much easier to take the egg out than they need the toast. So keep the head up wherever you do, please. Mm -hmm. You just said it's much easier <laughs> to take out than need the toast. When you, when you just to do once all the muscles are relaxed, it's much easier to take it out. This is our hormone implant that we're going to put in now. It's a pretty cool egg. Like when an egg is so solid and so hard, it's not going to come out, especially that size would probably never come out. So this bird would have died. This bird would probably have died, yes. Is there nothing else in there? I'll have a feel. Aesthetic off now, however, Phil said he's going to do further examination. Okay, you can, you can turn it off now, thank you. Mm -hmm. Let's just, let's so just continue holding. So, with one just, hand, just, you just rotate yeah. your body. So, holding, turn left, okay, there's no more. let go. Turn off, please. Let go with that, and turn off with one hand. Oh. That's a zero, and leave the oxygen on. No, yeah. leave, yeah, leave the oxygen on. Yeah. So we've taken the egg out and we're very happy that it's completely out. We're happy that um, 
I'm happy the uterus is going back, is staying back inside. I'm not going to be putting a stitch in now, but you can see there's a little bit of blood, there's a bit of trauma. It's Overloaded the power board probably. It's also getting very, very hot. What did it blow? I can really have it didn't blow. So I just mounted that. That's just funny. There's also a prostaglandin, which is a, a, a missy prostal, which we could have put a little bit in on. Okay. Right, okay, so let, let's just let go, sir. Mm -hmm. Oxygen off. So the little bit, little birds are covering well, maybe it's a little bit bright, so let's switch off the light smell. Mm -hmm. Switch off the light for the way, please. So they wake up in a quiet environment. Okay. Uh, board didn't overload. Bulb blue. It's it really hot there. So Billy's back in a heated incubator. I've chosen to leave the egg in just for a small amount of time, just to anything I can do to keep the stress down and leave the bird um, feeling a little bit better. There are no perches yet. We're going to put perches in the incubator in the next That's 10 15 given minutes. Her the egg. Yeah. Well, for the next, we'll probably leave it in for one day. Um, anything to make her feel better. This is a standard incubator. You can see the heat bulbs. We've set it at 25 degrees at the moment. So I'll cool it down a little bit later. She's already passed a poo in the cage, which is okay. She's already looking more relaxed. She's a bonded bird, so she'll come to the end of the. She'll come and she'll come close to us. But the surgery's gone well, and as I said, we have a 98, 98, 99 percent success rate. Based on the way we're going now, she's going to be in the one of the successful ones. So remember, it's the partner, the nest or perceived nest, partner or perceived partner. Daylight length usually plays a role, but in winter, it's the opposite. You'd think coming to the winter solstice, you'd think that the laying should be switched off. Food plays a big role, high calorie, stable food, and stability of environment also plays a role. But then no matter what we do, sometimes birds are going to lay. We don't know exactly what influences the hormonal issues in the brain have you got anything to comment mel maybe on egg laying and birds i think overhandling mushy foods um i find sometimes in winter they want to just sit down on an egg and nest so Impressive. sometimes the colder weather can trigger it but yeah i think you've covered everything pretty well i, I think, think she stands a good chance of recovery yep. and des laurel is a brilliant idea because that's a window where the owner has now a few months where that's not going to be a problem she can pair it with some training and start to reduce the hormonal behaviors she should have a better success rate long term so it's nice to see five minutes after the anesthetic and the birds already playing with toys and quite active yeah it's pretty quick we're going home safely <laughs> nice and happy we're happy yeah someone's missed you Definitely. No.